Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the last session of Principles of Management course. Dear students, this is the 30th session on POM course. I am your instructor, Dr. Shikha N. Kera, faculty at Delhi School of Management, Delhi Technological University. We have been going through the journey to understand what are the nuances of management studies, where we tried to understand different skills that people who opt for managerial position go for. So I begin with a note where one inventor said once that I am interested in future because it is there where I am going to spend whole of my life now onwards. So this is same what is applicable to you. Once you are going through this course that means you are interested in the managerial profession. And managerial profession means that a person has to undergo through uncertain and chaotic situations. In these chaotic situations, you have to take decisions which tomorrow can help society at large and industrial benefits in terms of profit making too. Now, who is the key pin between that or behind that? The key pin are the leaders and the managers and you have opted for that profession. So today last session is dedicated towards understanding what are the future job options or job position or title options for you people who are intending to go and grow in the field of management. Management itself means managing employees where in the place where organizations are there organizations group of people when join hand to fulfill a common goal. So let us begin and try to see what the future holds for you in terms of positions. So before we proceed a quick recap on what is management. We have already done this. So management is the process of coordinating people and resources to achieve a common goal. It involves planning, organizing, directing efforts in achievement of organizational objectives. It also focuses on formulating policies that the company should operate in. These policies then become the guidelines for whom? For managers, which you are tomorrow going to take up as a profession. So management is also a set of activities directed at optimizing operational or organizational performance, which is one of the most important criteria because of which the existence of organization is all together. So in other words, management has two main functions, planning and giving directions. So planning function involves developing plans for the future action based on current condition. You have been abreast with all these things. By now you know what is the process of planning, steps in planning and within which you have to identify the issues and need to come up with solutions for that. So this is called as the element part of the process. Now determining how these elements should be addressed are the objectives which one manager has to identify. After objectives are identified, now we have to find out what methods and techniques we have to use in order to achieve these objectives. So these methods and techniques will be nothing but the actions that you will take tomorrow as managers. And in the end you will come up with delivery which is the outcome of your actions this outcome must match organizational goals and hence as not only satisfied but exceeds expectations set forth during the planning stage this last part being where things get fun so you need to understand that once you have achievement you have delivered the outcome which was expected from you or you had set the standards for yourself it is going to be a very achievement oriented happy moments for you as a manager leader. Now coming on to the important questions that question that we should study today or discuss today is why study management. So management is a very broad subject and you can apply these skills to various fields that is why we call that management has a universal application. It is applied 
all over in all the phenomena, not only in the organization, but applied in every phenomena of nature as well. As we see day and night, the timelines or seasons, everything is cyclic and very punctual. So it is all managed by nature of its own. Thus, management has a universal application. As the demand for manager continues to grow, so makes the need for person within these skill. Now, we need to have specific managerial skills inculcated in us. For you also, those specific managerial skills are required. Now, students, what are those managerial skills? Quickly, you can recapitulate your communication skills, your administrative skills, conceptual skills, then your technical skills, your interpersonal skills. All these skills are where a manager need to be updated with, which I am sure about that you people by now have, good, have got good acumen in. You are also likely to find yourself in an exciting field as you learn about different aspects of management, especially when working towards your BBA or MBA degrees. So I'm sure you are studying this management right now. This particular management course caters to your graduation or post-graduation degree in MBA in management. So business administration degree is a generalist degree that focuses on managing business and the organizations. In addition to courses in accounting, finance, marketing and other business functions, students take classes designed for future managers. So these courses provide an ever overview of functions and responsibilities of key management positions also. What are key management positions? CEO, CFO and CEO and what are they called? These are called as C-suit positions in the organization. These C-suit positions are the top level positions in organization and you get groomed for these positions as well when you take a business administration as your course of study. Now talking about scope of management field in India, we shall now look into various sectors, industrial sectors like whether it is service sector, information technology, banking, finance, etc. or marketing. What are the areas in which the uh, managerial positions are required and what are different roles or benefits that a person when he joins these fields get or what kind of job description every individual has to cater to. So starting off with uh, banking and finance as it says that there are multiple domains you can land a job after pursuing your management course. So let's first discuss banking and finance Rangi ranging from portfolio management to security and investment analysis you can land up a job in any facet of banking and finance. So these are the sub areas of banking and finance students you can go for security and investment analysis or you can go for portfolio management as well. So you will be eligible to apply for jobs in banks, financial institutions, insurance companies, security firms etc. if you have specialized in the field of banking and finance. So as far as private banks are concerned, all you need is a well-rounded education and requisite skill set which we have already discussed. However, to land a job in public sector banks, you will need to clear recruitment exams conducted by respective banks. So what are the public sector banks we have? Like State Bank of India or the Central Bank of India, which is RBI. So for this, you have to appear for recruitment examinations, including group discussion rounds, which is a part of your selection process, personal interviews, written ability tests, etc. So you have to brush up your management concepts in order to appear in for these selection procedures. Then comes investment banking also as a career option. So in recent years, investment banking domain has become one of the most lucrative and in demand areas. So as an investment banker, you will be responsible for connecting investors to organization looking for funding. So since it is a key area you are bringing in finance for the organization, this particular job profile is also in very high demand in today's time. If you are aspiring to gain in-depth knowledge into business management, online businessmen courses are also recommended which you can have at your ease of time and space. 
However, if investment banking tickles your fancy, consider enrolling for a specialization course in banking and capital markets. So this is the option for you tomorrow after pursuing your general management course, you can go for specialization in banking and capital markets. Next field that we need to work upon or understand is the management consulting. So if you possess excellent problem solving skills, now you have to judge yourself while during the study of this, these courses on management or maybe during your childhood stages also, how have you been performing in problem solving acumen? So the management consulting domain is ideal for you for those who have higher or greater degree of problem solving skills. As a management consultant, you will be responsible for solving organizational issues. As the terminology consulting itself says that you will be giving the suggestions or you will be in the role of an advisor to resolve the situation. So you will be able to require to embrace fresh ideas and new problem solving methods. So that means continuously you have to update yourself in the field of management. Then sounds interesting that yes, you would like to go for management consulting, you have greater problem solving skills. So tomorrow you want to take up this job, you can enroll for general management courses and kickstart your career in this domain to become a management consultant. Then comes entrepreneurship. Now, do you know what is entrepreneurship students? Entrepreneurship is a phenomena with which an individual called entrepreneur is associated with. Who is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is that individual who believes in taking high risk and then eventually landing up with high profit. So he is a daring individual who has a startup idea and implements that idea in the form of an organization and starts up his own business. Entrepreneurship is also taught in various colleges and universities with specialized courses. You can attend those colleges, courses and classes and try to understand how you can also, if you have an idea, how you can start up your own business and become an entrepreneur. Students, entrepreneurs are in much demand in today's time because the it lifts up the economy of any country, especially for our country with a vision of 2047 as a developed nation. We need to have lots and lots of entrepreneurs who need who come up with new ideas and come up with startups, employability skills like they enhance employability factor of the uh, country, give opportunity to other members to uh, get employed and not only that contribute to a greater extent to the GDP of the country. So entrepreneurship in India, there is high percentage of professionals who pursue this credible, regular and online management courses intending to start their own business. So in fact, in the last decade, entrepreneurship has become one of the most sought after, of, sought after options among business management graduates. So what's more, there are no minimum eligibility criteria to become an entrepreneur because if you have an idea and if you can arrange for funding, which is the sources there, you can either attain funding from your own sources or maybe from outside sources like loans from bank or you may opt for some schemes that the government has given for funding for startups. Then you can think of starting up your own business. You need not require any specific eligibility. Creativity, innovative skills and capital are all you need to excel in this career. So a credible course, be it in business management or general management, can help you to understand the importance of business level strategy, enhancing your ability to develop plans for your own company. Now what is business level strategy? Where we think of what kind of focus we are going to give in our business or whether we are that is a focus strategy or a niche strategy that we would like to go in for. So different business level strategies can be understood if we go for course on entrepreneurship. Then comes another buzzword in today's time which is data analytics. What is data analytics? What is big data? Every time we are collecting huge amount of information in the form of data through Google Forms, through questionnaires, or maybe through direct interviews or observation methods. By that, this data is what? It is the storehouse or warehouse of lot of information that we can extract out of it. So how to extract this information? For example, if we want to know that whether people have intention to leave the organization. So we want to predict the turnover intention of employee. 
at that time we need data about the individuals previous jobs trend analysis and basis of on the basis of that data we can apply some analytical tools with the help of analytical tools maybe ms excel or python we can come to some conclusion that how far people how much percentage of people are intending to leave the organization maybe 2% 10% etc so basically here we get lot of inputs in the form of raw information or data which we have to extract with the help of analytical tools that is various statistical methods are utilized now if you are good in statistical analysis or you are good in understanding various parametric non parametric test sampling methods hypothesis testing etc so that means you have good acumen in analysis and th you can think of having or pursuing a career in data analysis so data analysis is based on digital revolution that has given birth to the technologies like big data machine learning and artificial intelligence this means a massive amount of data is being generated by organizations worldwide and companies are always scouting for professionals who can analyze the data and provide insights for decision making so online business management courses can give you a kick start however if you are looking to thrive in this domain you must pursue a specialized certification in data analysis now this is very important it is must only with general mba you can not go ahead to become a data analytic individual you need to go for specific certifications as well now moving forward let us try and see what are the different career opportunities in first the service industry as far as management degree is concerned so if you are a management graduate or a post graduate you can think of opting for jobs like customer relationship manager which are very important when it comes to service industry because here every customer needs to be associated with some manager who can become a link pin between the various operative people and the customer then customer care executives who immediately listen to the requirement of the customer for any kind of grievance or complaint if they have or any feedback they want to share event manager is also one of the positions which is meant highly for those who are very creative individuals and who intend to uh, take up different projects every time and become managers for those projects or those events and come up with some kind of new flavor every time then we have retail managers who are employed to manage different stores especially with respect to the retail part of the business health service manager also can be there in the health industry or the hospital industry where you can have a direct contact with the patients and try to manage what kind of administrative work they have to get done front office executive is generally those who take care of the reception part and who are the integral uh, officers of the organization because they communicate with all the customers for the first time and make the customer at ease with respect to the industry specific so these are various positions that you can opt for in service industry now career opportunities in finance industry you can become an accounting professional an auditor business development trainee credit appraisal officer an economist financial and investment consultant maybe a finance officer with some organization investment and banking associate investment and insurance advisor investment banker sales analyst stock broker tax accountant and treasury manager so these are various portfolios within the finance industry which you can opt if you have interest in the field of finance career opportunities in the field of human resource management or human resource development includes you can become a compensation manager an employee relations manager hr generalist now who is an hr generalist who has acumen in fields like he can be a recruitment and selection person he can go for training and development individual maybe he can work in the compensation area or maybe he can think of working towards employee performance appraisal 
so he is the one who may have knowledge of all these sub functions of hr thus he is called as hr generalist while if you take up a position of a compensation manager then you are an hr specialist here you are taking care of a special assignment that is compensation employee relation manager primarily takes care of interpersonal relations in the organization this can be relationship between the employer and the employee placement manager is someone who can be either in the academic institutions also or in the industrial setup in industrial setup this placement manager is responsible for selection and orientation of the individuals and giving them the appropriate position job position in the organization staffing director is someone who will direct on who will take which place or which individual will take who will take up a specific place so these are various job roles and profiles in the field of human resource management that you can tomorrow opt for again depending on your area of interest career opportunities in the field of it and management so it is information technology we all understand in it field we can go for analytics manager analytics manager is someone who will deal with data big data needs to be analyzed then we can go for business development manager or executive what is business development business development means that you are enhancing the business you are developing the business by enhancing what by enhancing students customer base so this also can be a very interactive kind of profile if you like talking to people and thinking about how to interact with them materialize with them negotiate with them then you are a business development manager individual data processing manager can be someone who can tomorrow help the analytics manager in getting the output from the data marketing manager is someone who takes care of the marketing functions which includes different brand building or maybe advertising or maybe marketing strategies promotion strategy placing strategy product strategy etc the product man project manager will be someone who will look after a specific event or a specific work and would would deal with various techniques like pert and cpm that we have discussed during the course study where he has to employ those skills to get the project well in time completed and properly executed system manager is the person who leads with or relates to the information technology here the individual will be managing more of the information technology and computer related work in the organization career opportunities in business analytics include business analyst computer system analyst data scientist healthcare analyst it analyst and market research analyst so every time you see that this component of analyst is attached to all the position this is because the first area is the domain area where you would be doing the analysis so you may be doing analysis with respect to the data available with respect to healthcare service industry with respect to it industry with respect to finding out how the market is performing by doing the research analysis of your product or product line and computer system analyst is someone who will work towards your website development or it system development in the organization and data scientist we already have this discussed earlier career opportunities specifically with respect to the field of marketing will include you becoming an account manager so account here is a key account we are talking about so key account means key customers so maybe you are divided the customers are divided into various categories and you may be becoming account manager for some specific customers so when you become a uh, manager for specific customers you become a key account or an account manager marketing analytics is someone who will deal with finding out with data related to the marketing of a particular product or service that you render and analyzing in the end that how far your product and service is performing or how happy is your customer with your product and service 
then marketing manager will look after all the aspects as discussed earlier pertaining to price place promotion strategy and brand building or advertisement for the product that you wish to launch or is already existing sales manager is someone who will be dealing with selling of the products directly so there is a thin line difference between marketing manager and sales manager marketing manager is more towards branding and positioning of the product while sales manager is towards direct selling of the product so he is in direct contact with the customer and then he develops key accounts and he moves towards getting the letter of credit or maybe the purchase order from the customer now having said or talked about all these areas of uh, <clears throat> your future positions and job related to various fields that we have discussed just now how can we move ahead and take up these jobs so there are certain specific skills which are required which i am sure you must have gained during the sessions and maybe through other management courses collectively if you have gone through but just to recapitulate that to be an effective manager or a leader what all skills you need to have specifically you need to focus on these skills and inculcate all acumen related to it let's see these skills one by one so sk skills needed and the education needed for being an effective manager is interpersonal skills what are interpersonal skills where we deal with creating harmony and peace with individuals and we have high amount of negotiation skills as well second skill that you need is communication skills communication and motivation skill communication needs to be clear precise coherent concise also should have correct that is the correct message to be given these skills need to be there if you want to get the tasks done as a manager motivating skills are basically the inspiring skills that you can possess by either practicing rather than preaching your subordinates may get this skill and they can get self motivated or maybe you can give motivation positively and negatively with the help of some kind of reward and punishment organization and delegation skills so organization and delegation skills pertain to where you have know how of on how to manage resources here we have resources both physical resources and manpower resources so if you have that ability to what are different organization skills ability to coordinate ability to cooperate and get cooperation ability in order of allocation of resources then you have good organizational skills and delegational skills are that you are in a position to identify your successor so who is successor here the one who will take up your job so you need how to have effective delegation whether you will delegate whole task half task what is the purpose of delegation are you giving clear instruction to your successor in your absence he is in a position to do the job properly then next skill which is required is forward planning and strategic thinking this is important from the perspective that we want our organization to grow so if we want to organization to grow we need to have a forward planning or strategic thinking perspective strategic thinking perspective basically means that we think of some innovative services or products where we are ahead of the competition problem solving and decision making skills because we know that the environment is very chaotic and uncertain in this situation we may come up with sudden problems or maybe we need to take quick decisions so in the case we have to take quick decisions or sudden problem solving then this acumen needs to be highly taken care of commercial awareness is 
how funds are to be allocated or how funds are to be raised so both the thing raising of funds and allocation of funds so that we get final profit making which is also the commercial aspect of working in the organization then mentoring skills since you are a leader manager tomorrow you will take up that job so you need to have that greater skills of giving some kind of teachings to your subordinates knowing everything is not sufficient students you also need to know how to deliver that to your subordinates as well so that is your mentoring skill listening to them properly understanding their problems understanding their grievances and then coming to solutions to those grievances or trying to rectify those comes under the management or mentoring skills so management consulting firms recruiting business management professionals in today's time and management students can seek an opening in any industry but some of most prominent management consulting firms in the world that open doors for best opportunity are this is for your reference students you may look for opportunity to work in these organizations tomorrow so out of these organizations we have deloitte kpmg price waterhouse coopers boston consulting group bain and company the mckinsey company cape gemini ernest and young huron consulting group and accenture all these companies are the best companies who give best of environment also to work when i say environment that means their policies in organization with respect to human resource is very much employee friendly and with employee friendly policy they have greater retention of their staff or members and they also give a good career ladder to to the individuals so you may see to it what is there for these organization what is the selection criteria you can check their websites through the websites you will get to know what are different skills you need to add on to your cv then management trainees are also taken apart from the corporate sector which we have mentioned here in public sector units in india if specifically we talk then management trainees are also given opportunity to work and these public sector units have different categories so a category of public sector units are called navratna companies and these navratna companies have best practices that they follow so they become best employers as well and these navratna companies include mtnl oil india limited and hindustan aeronautics limited and many more but these are just few examples for your information why and the future of business management is growing why is it that management profession is becoming more and more prominent and important as we have already discussed that india is going to be a developed nation soon and market is booming here so that means new industries are coming up investments from outside the nation is also being established so thus it creates a need for highly qualified management professionals in our country and this is the reason why management consulting or management roles are in a prominent field that is the jobs are available ample but only prerequisite is that you should be properly trained and have right kind of educational background for the same so the future of business management in india is booming because of many reasons as i told because of growing competition and need for specialized skill for leadership skills have contributed to growing demand of business management so here are some of the major reasons contributing to the growth of business management let's study these reasons one by one business managers they bring specialized skills to the team so if someone is a software engineer so he is more um, software engineer is more equipped with knowledge relating to probably coding or probably software making but when it comes to managing a project with a client wherein software making is one of the arena so then the specialist knowledge of the business manager comes into picture with respect to all additional administrative and strategic responsibilities so management is a dynamic field business management brings specialized skills to the table 
and it can be the specialized skill can be retail analytics management telecom management information systems and many more so there is no end to the specialization type accessible in business management these days because of which the business manager or business field is management profession is growing business management enables good communication skills to the individuals so business managers they must possess good communication skills this enables clear and transparent communication throughout the organization this helps in setting clear goals solving conflicts enabling better client communication and maintaining a positive work environment in the office so thus business management professionals are also getting an edge over the other Uh, individuals who come up with different degrees because communication is an essential ingredient and business management professionals are well versed in the communication skills business managers are also responsible for motivating the team and guiding them to deliver the best results so this quality of the business manager along with the communication part makes it one of the best professions to opt to grow in the organizations further business managers are responsible for establishing work ethics also in the organization so business managers are responsible for ensuring safety productivity and efficiency of the team they are also responsible for establishing necessary rules policy and ensuring the optimal use of all resources work ethics is something without which we cannot think of surviving so no survival of any organization without work ethics so ethics are what they are the code of conduct so code of conduct which needs to be abided by all the members in organization and managers especially when they follow code of conduct as they are responsible for the safety productivity and efficiency this eventually leads to better environment in organization honest and trustworthy environment and optimum utilization of resources now students coming on to what does a business management degree entail what does it cover so ambitious business owners and executives they frequently choose a business management degree specifically a degree not general knowledge about it it gives you an academic know how that is the first gain you get you get to know about what are the contents and the concepts of this field and second it ability and abilities to explore the chances for the worldwide career so these are two benefits that you get when you go for a degree in business management also it aids in developing a broad understanding of businesses so that tomorrow you can think of becoming an entrepreneur also this below reasons will help to understand the business management future very effectively so a management degree enhances managerial abilities makes you invaluable asset to the company thus you get your employability factor very high it equips you with tools to address current business problems or current business standards or current business scenarios social trends can be judged with the help of this acumen fostering effective decision making in ethical economic and social realms as we know that corporate social responsibility is also another fundamental which manager has to take care of so social arena is also which we need to deal with we have to think of how we can be of some benefit to the society we also have to think of having inclusive schemes so that all parts of the country are included in the development and part of nation building key abilities gained included include strategic thinking this is what you get when you are a management graduate organization project management presentation problem solving and communication skills so while you are going through the um, learning phase of business management focus on your communication problem solving and presentation skills to a large extent so a business management degree guides your career by enabling specialization areas like human resource management and entrepreneurship graduates have diverse employment opportunities in marketing advertising finance sales retail and human resource field as well 
a management degree is a great start point for newcomers to the business world because if you go and join as an employee in NAVE without any degree, probably you won't be able to do justice with your job. So business management degree teaches fundamental management principles and provides in-depth knowledge about the company. Moreover, it offers valuable insights into market trends and industry reports. So these are the gains that you get out of professional formal management degree. After graduating, you will have great professional prospects. Professional prospects means you will have ample job opportunities for yourself. And the fundamentals needed to launch their own business. With a business management degree, you can become your own boss by honing on your entrepreneurship skills. So this is something I think very lucrative for all of you to become your own boss, to have a startup and then manage other individuals effectively. You will test any business idea you may have if you can become an entrepreneur and inculcate the entrepreneurial talents. Now business management future with an associate degree. So a two year business degree with primary emphasis on strategy and operations. Remember this uh, with primary of, uh, emphasis on strategy and operation is called as an associate degree in business administration. You can enter the business sector with the abilities you need to succeed. So if you have an associate degree in business management, then it will be beneficial for you. You can consider having this degree also at some point of your career. Auditing is a job that you can think of after business management though we have already discussed this is one of the job roles which comes under the finance domain but let us have some quick insight on what this domain talks about. So a typical aud auditor's job description entails helping to ensure that an organizational financial records are accurate, valid and legal. This is done by checking the original documents especially the documents are original bills. So senior auditors frequently act as advisors to the businesses enabling them to minimize their exposure to legal and financial concerns because if auditor is genuinely telling the organization about any gaps that the organization has in terms of their documentation and paperwork with respect to finances then Tomorrow, no, if not addressed to those gaps, we, the organization may have to go for some kind of legal procedures or some financial concerns may come up. So these experts can guide a company's overall financial strategy in right direction, which is a very, very, very important aspect. So you can take up a key role of an auditor and guide the company and save the company from any legal proceedings then. Then another position that business uh, management uh, professionals can opt for is to become a clerk. So the clerks, they do work for businesses in several industries and they collaborate closely with the managers and staff to do some kind of errands and help them keep a well managed business. It includes copying, writing invoices, faxing etc or emailing. In many cases, they are responsible for planning dates for employee travel, for meetings and business conferences. So this is what basically we have talked about the nature of job, which if you are interested in, you may think of opting for this job as well. Then comes administrative assistant. So for administrative assistant, for many years, they were referred to as secretaries in the offices. But the, today the term has been interchanged and they have now become the administrative assistant to the manager. So individual performing the job impacts business operations regardless of your chosen label. They frequently manage incoming and outgoing mail, plans for the meetings and appointments, creates invoices and report to upper level management positions. So this can also be thought of as a career if these are the areas which you are interested in. 
In addition, these workers are accountable for various clerical duties that keep firms operating correctly. So, they must be well organized with detail oriented Next is sales associate. Sales associate is typically it greets customers, keeps the flow tidy, points customers towards mercantiles, rushes cash registers etc. So these are various job descriptions which a person at sales associate level can work for. They make sure their business sells more products that clients receive goods that are appropriate for their needs. Since they represent the business, they must uphold company values and appearance and client interactions. So sales associate is also one of the options you can opt for tomorrow as your career plan. Customer service associates. Customer service associates are the representatives which are entirely focused on helping the customer. So, here you can see that these representatives have to be with a specific customer and take care of all the needs and desires and requirements of that customer and provide the services required. These company experts are at their finest when assisting customers visiting or contacting their store. So, it is the primary duty of the customer service representative to cater to the customer properly. They listen to clients inquiries, concerns, take orders and provide information about products and services which is very 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 important aspect for customer service associate because unless we give the right kind of information about the products and services the client will not be interested in. So, we have to generate the client's interest in our products and services for that. It is not only about the information, how the information is being said, what is the tone and the politeness associated to it and what is the information correctness and flow of information also matters a lot. So, they also record specifies record specifics of customer details. So, if someone comes if you have gone to market some time you went for some purchase there was a customer service associate there who took all your details email id phone number or maybe birthdays and anniversaries as well of your family members so that they can maintain a record of those who visited the store or any kind of specific requirement the customer has. So, because customer service representatives frequently listen to complaints and attempt to resolve them, this becomes a very uh, sensitive field which one must take care, cautiously choose if you at all have that acumen. Now, coming on to management future with a bachelor's degree. So, management is an esteemed field with a promising future. So, a management's bachelor degree is generally 4 year program in today's time and earlier it was 3 year program. With NEP coming in, it has become probably uh, more of a 4 year program. Otherwise, it is 3 year program as well in many universities. So, it, com it encompasses strategic management, risk management and general business management theories. This degree offers ample skill development opportunities due to constant challenge in the field, the skills which we have already discussed. Options after completing a management degree includes that you may also get business related certifications later on to gain more in depth knowledge to become specialists. So, organizations like SAP are giving some specific certifications and there are many other organizations like uh, you can go for uh, ISTD where they give training and development diploma or maybe Society for Human Resource Management who come up with different certifications in HR field. So, you can add on these certifications to have more value to your profile. Business analyst is a specialist who establishes objectives, creates best practices for data collection and examines current processes. So, it helps to determine how best to enhance them, a thorough understanding of financial analysis, forecasting and budgeting is very very important. So, these are the roles you have to, you may have to play if you go for a business analyst position. Now, apart from this reporting and regulatory requirements, 
critical success factors and performance indicators are essential to business analyst responsibility. So you can see to it that if you are interested in doing these jobs, you may opt for a career in business analysis. For a sales manager role, it consists of recruiting, training and empowering employees professionally and the manager needs to decide weekly, monthly and quarterly goals for. Now what he is recruiting, training and empowering employee, they are all pertaining to his sales team because he is not an HR person who will recruit for whole of organization, he will recruit for his own team. It should be based on the report of the team's past success. So managers produce reports to show each person's achievement with respect to seasonal goals. Sales manager work directly with marketing managers and often other departments to bring market research and other material together. Analysis, sale, analyzing the sales data ensures the team uses CRM that is uh, the software in order to analyze the sales then producing valuable data and accurate reporting. Additionally, keep an eye on market trends and customer preferences. Marketing manager collaborates with executives to create a plan for their businesses to increase sales and attract the new client. Now planning here is very creative field because what you have to do, you have to pitch into the market and pitching to market is essentially a very creative thing. You don't know what is the thought process of the customer, what he likes or dislikes, how the trend is going on, what are his life priorities, how he wants to tomorrow uh, live his life, what are the tangible gadgets that he requires. So all these things relate to attracting new clients and making them aware about your own products and the importance of product not only the product but what is the importance of this product in their life okay and thus leading to increase in sales they frequently examine data for market trends about their business goods and services so here market trend means why uh, sorry here market trend means that how people are interested in the uh, specific product that the company is offering whether they are interested or not if not then what are the reasons you must have seen people coming door to door to do some kind of surveys to find out what kind of washing machine you use or washing powder you use or fridge that you are using or television you are using which brand you are using why you are using this brand why not you are using the brand which the salesperson belongs to or is a representative of he will ask many questions to know the market trend how is it going then a marketing manager might oversee a group of marketing coordinators also so they, they become his subordinates marketing coordinates are the subordinates of the marketing manager so they will aid in hiring preparing and developing that group for expansion in the future this is the job of marketing manager to manage a team also to hire them to prepare them for future and develop them for expansion when it comes to account manager, account managers duties include establishing trusting connections with the clients, contacting important business decision makers and creating sales reports. So you have to see that have you got skills in these areas? Are you interested in performing this job? If yes, you may think of becoming an account manager tomorrow. So account managers also respond to cl client inquiries and spot potential clients amongst current, current clients. So you have to see who are the ones who are going to be the repeat customers who will take up your products later on as well. So to enhance the complete customer experience, you will collaborate with internal cross-functional teams so that the customer has a happiness index very high. It includes those from product development and customer service department. So we are talking about internal cross-functional teams from product development team and customer service team. They together join hands to make a happy experience or create a happy experience for the customer. The job may occasionally demand travel for account manager and same goes true for the sales manager also since the industry location can be outside or maybe a specific region is given to the account manager to manage the accounts. There can also be a possibility that account manager is managing, someone is managing for specific industries like maybe government 
uh, offices, someone is towards a particular region, geographic region we may talk of, of. So because of this nature of accounts that they are managing, they are different accounts that they are managing, they may have to go for traveling. Now why am I highlighting here demand for travel is because it seems very fancy to go for travel. But then there are lots of challenges also associated with this travel. Are you ready to have a disturbed natural cycle? or because you may have to uh, go outside very early in the morning or come very late after midnight so will that suit you are you accustomed to have food outside are you you know conditioned to get accustomed to the weather conditions around any different places so this is a very sensitive factor that you need to consider before you choose such kind of profiles then financial analysts also based on their market expertise and evaluations of market trend, business news, companies, financial status, financial analysts can take up all these specific inputs and can deliver the outcome to the company. Financial analysts help the businesses and institutions such as banks and investment firms with their decision making. They use their expertise in finance, economics, accounting, statistics to create financial models and analyze data, predict business outcomes. They also stay updated on economic and business trends to provide valuable insights for corporate decisions. Additionally, financial analysts compile written reports containing of financial status and the advice to the company. So this is where if you have interest in financial matters, financial transactions, you understand them well, making a balance sheet or a trial balance or maybe thinking of LIFO FIFO method etc. If you have acumen in that, you may think of going ahead with becoming a financial analyst. Business management future with a master's degree. So a two year program offers higher level of management and leadership education and a specified concentration. So when an MBA has a management focus, several employment options are accessible to him. So you may also tomorrow think of becoming an MBA. An MBA degree is designed to prepare students for a career in middle or higher level of management. So generally when you go for an undergraduate degree in masters uh, in management, which is BBA, you go for the jobs which are lower middle level or executive lower executive positions but if you go for MBA degree then you may think of going for higher level management positions or higher middle level management positions. Then business development manager are essentially the team members responsible for sales leads and client based growth. As I told you while I was explaining you business management uh, development manager that he is the one who has to look for new customers all the time so that the development of business can take place. So they use strategic planning, project management and negotiation skills to identify opportunities and they convert the leads to the paying customer. Lead is what? Lead is what you get from your cold call. Cold calling is what you do randomly to the prospective customers and if you get an appointment to meet them, you try your best that they become paying customers to you. They engage, yeah, this is written here, they engage in cold calling, networking and staying updated on industry trends. So if you are interested in having or going for socializing or networking kind of thing and you have good negotiation skills, you can think of going for a business development manager. Data analyst we have already discussed, it analyzes the historical data to identify system gaps, optimizing resource allocation and enhancing system efficiency for cost savings. This increases the business capacity for new projects by freezing up financial and human resources. Acting on intermediaries between technology and non-technology department, data analysts understand departmental requirements and provide seamless solutions. So what is the key role here of data analyst is that he is a kinpin between technological and non-technological departments in the organization. 
compliance officers ensure company adherence to laws both domestic and international to prevent penalties legal consequences and damage to the reputation so this you can also think of becoming a compliance officer they oversee internal compliance regulations compliance regulations means whatever rules and regulations are made in the organization they are complied with they are followed well in the organization and there are no deviations this is the job of the compliance manager to look after assessing financial risks they develop strategies and regularly report to their team while providing guidance to the executives on necessary actions or modifications to be made in rules which are being followed project manager supervises tasks from beginning to end ensuring efficient stakeholder interaction and timely completion so they anticipate and address road blocks establish objectives and requirements plan the document and task coordinate resources and facilitates effective communication on the project status they also ensure prompt delivery of materials deliverables and the tasks so project manager is the one who has to see the project from beginning to the end and all the required parameters of that risk managers primary responsibility includes assisting in risk mitigation that is reducing the risk reducing the threat loss of mitigation for their organization they also manage unique specific risk for their firm requiring specialist knowledge duties to choose a career path in risk management consider the following classification you can become a risk generalist credit risk manager market risk manager and operational risk manager so the future scope of management is continuously growing and what are the sectors that you can work in marketing management finance management we have discussed in detail in production management human resource management functional area human resource management which is also called as personal management and office management which is more of administrative then inventory management that is stocking of goods and inventory is the prime focus here banking management we have already discussed this now students i would highlight quickly about the mba in management specializations so mba in finance can be done which will make you an expert in the asset management treasury corporate finance credit risk management corporate banking etc and hedge fund management MBA in business analytics will open doors for you in senior positions for roles like data scientist business analyst computer system analyst market research analyst etc and it will make you an expert in the field of e-commerce and information technology then you have MBA in human resource management which paves the path for you to becoming a site uh, staffing director compensation manager hr generalist or relations manager MBA in marketing will make you an expert in product and brand management retail management advertising management and it will offer a career in competitive market analytical market and customer relations MBA in information technology will help you become analytics analytics manager marketing and data processing manager system manager etc MBA in entrepreneurship will enable will enable your progress from domain role to the leadership role so here you take up the role of a leader MBA in family business will help you to understand the ways to transform if you are running your own family business then MBA in family business is a good choice so that they you can know that how you can transform your family run business into professionally managed enterprise so here students we have tried to find out answers to various questions like what all needs to be done after you have completed your degree in management whether it is bachelor's or it is a master's degree so i conclude my session here i have been discussing all the fundamentals with respect to different management functions throughout these 30 sessions i wish you all good luck for your future these are the sources which i have referred to for making this particular discussion point on future scope of management and i thank you all for listening to me so patiently thank you